Tonight, calm returning to the Eastern District of New Providence following hours-long panic and concern from residents and businesses owners, business owners as a massive fire appeared to be on the verge engulfing the entire area. Our Colville Pie Firm has been following that story for us and has this update. Where there is smoke, there's not necessarily fire. And more than a day and a half after residents in eastern New Providence were left with bated breath, worried as smoke blanketed their area, Thursday, a highly anticipated sigh of relief. Wednesday morning's fire that kept fire of officials fighting well into Thursday now mostly contained. It started as an explosion Wednesday morning at the CRT Enterprise scrapyard site on Joe Farrington Road. A fiery blast from a derelict vehicle whose gas tank had not been removed, setting the frantic sequence of events in motion. Upon fire, you want us to be in dispatch. We came and we met the, the compound of fully ablaze. Um, as you can see at this time, firefighters are still battling that fire. Now calls for businesses like this scrap metal yard to be removed from areas so close to homes. Even Seabreeze MP Leslie Miller Bryce vowing to get involved in this fight. I've spoken to the Minister of Environment already for the day um, and he's going to work with me because this is important. Um, I'm sure that there's some place on Fire Trail Road, you know, some place far out where this business can go and continue their business uh, in the scrap metal, but it definitely shouldn't be in a residential uh, community, and I am going to advocate for it um, because the residents deserve better. Uh, it's been a constant, you know, fight and a struggle. Um, it's not for lack of residents not petitioning. This has been here for many, many years. Um, so as a member of Parliament for Seabreeze, I'm going to ensure and do my absolute best uh, and speak and push uh, the Minister of Environment that this, this scrap metal uh, company should definitely not be in this residential area. The fire caused no injuries, but Jeremy Harding Jr., whose crane services business is next door, says he experienced significant financial loss. The impact now is we put a, a wall, a retaining wall around the property some years ago to try and keep uh, the debris and all of it out of, you know, from mixing. And <clears throat> now the wall is destroyed. We've lost three boats. Uh, a couple of trucks in the back. He too believes the scrapyard must relocate. How long has this been a challenge for you? <sighs> 25, 30 years. We've been fighting this with Mr. Rule. But yesterday, CRT's proprietor, Everett Rule, insisted Wednesday's fire was an unusual occurrence. We, we don't have any fires at this site at all. We're in the middle of a neighborhood, you know, a residential area. There's a gas station right next to us. Uh, there, so, no, uh, we don't have any fires here. I mean, if we had fires, the fire department would have shut us down a long time ago. But now pressure seems mounting, which might mean the winds will blow in a completely different direction. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Corval Pyfram. Hi there, I'm Corval Pyfram. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things Zenonass.